So Taylor, I was reading in the news, there are radioactive wasps oh, gosh. around us. Yeah. Sorry I'm laughing. It's just, for me... If I get stung, I'll become wasp man. No, I, the reason I'm laughing is it's just kind of blasé. Like, oh, radio, like we encounter radioactive yeah. animals all the time. Very blasé. Radioactive animals not... flying into me, stinging me, not concerned at all. No, I don't know. I, the reason I laugh is I'm not surprised. You know, we have a lot of aging Cold War infrastructure in this country. That event in particular happened at the Spanner River. Side, which is a Cold War nuclear facility in South Carolina, found a radioactive wasp nest, and I'm just like, you know, been there, done that. I've seen that. <laughs> if I could only tell Haven't you, if I could only tell you all the different, you know, the the uh, the zoo of animals I found yeah. that were, or at least, you know, maybe not collected, but at least observed that were radioactive. So you're not um, worried about getting stuff. No, lizards, mice, uh, birds, eggs, you name it. Uh, these facilities are aging, they're open, and, you know, nature's going to do what nature's going to do. And if there happened to be some plutonium there or cesium-137, uh you get radioactive wasps. But us. them flying around isn't going to kill everybody. No, nah, probably not. Okay. I would, I would Unless wasps more worry happens. about people being allergic to wasps than the, <laughs> the radioactive okay. material. All right.